Thank you for watching, and remember to like this video and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for your support from Orlina, whether it be the rain or the, um, the the snowy precip or the gusty winds that came along with it. We're not done yet, though. We've got a, another winter system that's going to be rolling in through early next week. Again, more widespread heavy rain and high elevation snow. This is beneficial because we are in the grips of a terrible drought out west, but when you get too much of a good thing all at once, it leads to issues like mudslides, debris flows around those burn scars. You can see the moisture already streaming on shore there across portions of Washington in northern Oregon as well uh, into northern California the coastal areas there uh, seeing some higher elevation snow already today but certainly along the coast mostly rain as we head into tomorrow we're going to start to see that picking up once again so today a lot of the places that we're dealing with Orlina and really taking the brunt of it are getting just a bit of a break by tomorrow we're going to start to fill that back in more rain coming in along the coast pushing into places like Redding California where you guys got some snow out of Orlina here's what we're expecting in terms of those totals you'll notice here between the coast of Northern California up into the southern coast of Oregon there. Some places could see up to five to eight inches down into San Fran, the Bay Area, Sacramento, Modesto. We're talking about uh, about another inch. Now that is good news because you want the rain. The bad news is again, those burn scars are very vulnerable. In terms of that snow still to come, we could get another foot or around a foot across portions of the Sierras. So it has been uh, definitely an unsettled time, Dr. Postel. And this winter storm train, it's going to continue the moving east better to hang out indoors. Let's head live to Des Moines, Iowa. Where you certainly wintry looking start to your morning. What I want to point out here is it is 31 degrees. So we're right on that cusp of freezing. Certainly could be running into some frozen now winter weather advisory is in effect. You can expect rain today making way for more snow tonight. So let's break it down for you in Des Moines. Here's what we're expecting in terms of those totals around Des Moines proper about an inch. But as you look farther off to the northeast, places like Waterloo, you guys are getting into that possibility for about one to three inches. And you know, that might not sound like a lot, but that is the type of uh, snowfall that we tend to see that causes those issues on the road. So here's what we're looking at. Here's um, as we head through the rest of your Saturday, you can see that filling in. Initially, we're going to start out as some rain and then switching over very quickly back and forth kind of between the mixed precip and the rain here in Des Moines. You can see you guys are getting a little bit of all of the precip types that Orlina is going to have to offer by 11 o'clock tonight, though we are going to see that mostly snow. That snow does linger around along that I-35 corridor and uh, that I-80 corridor to the east of I-35 as we head into Sunday morning before it finally begins to clear out. Now we're heading to Chicago where you guys are also going to get snow, but you're going to get even more than what we're expecting in Des Moines. And in fact, we're expecting uh, double digits there. You can see we've already got that snow covered ground there in Chicago. Uh, looking fairly calm right now. That's going to change though. A winter storm warning goes into effect tonight. And we also have a lakeshore flood advisory because we're going to get some winds cranking with this. Expect heavy snow to crank up tonight. Of course, stay with the Weather Channel. We'll bring you the live coverage from the Windy City tonight starting at 8 Eastern. So let's time it out for you and see what you can expect there in the Windy City. As mentioned, double digits in the forecast from Chicago down through Hammond, Naperville, Aurora, you guys are all expected to be in the double digits farther to the north and west to place like Rockford, more like, um, let's say, five to eight. Now, this is going to begin from the southwest and lift northeast. So cities like Paxton, you're getting in on this before we see it in, say, Chicago proper. We're already starting to see some of those flakes as you look farther to the west, southwest. Aurora, you'll start to see that before we uh, get too much farther into your day. The temperature's all
look at how this fills in as we head through the afternoon. Waukegan, Chicago, Naperville, you guys are all in it. As mentioned, the Lakeshore Flood Advisory could get a little bit of a, an impact along northeastern Illinois here along the lake in terms of maybe a, a bit of enhancement from lake effect snow there. And then the snow continues falling Sunday morning as well. And we're still not done. Sunday afternoon, this is why we're going to see it really adding up. Sunday night into Monday, we do start seeing that clear out, but the snow that does fall will be left behind. This, though, this is what's really going to be so impactful for you. So what you're looking at here are the winds. Look at these winds. When you're talking about winds 30, 35 miles an hour, that is already kind of going to be tricky weather when you're dealing with any kind of snow, whether it be light or moderate. But when you get this snowfall rate, so how quickly and how much snow is coming down at any given time, when you're talking about snowfall rates at 7, 8 o'clock in Chicago this evening, uh, moderate to heavy with winds 30, 33 mile per hour, that is telling me that your visibility is going to be greatly reduced and you definitely don't want to be out on the road at that time. It could get dangerous very quickly. Once this uh, snow starts coming down in Chicago, it's going to really ramp up very quickly. So, so far this season, you've seen just over 14 and a half inches of snow. You are about five inches below average, but we could knock out that deficit with Orlena. In fact, that is the forecast. You're in the snow.